Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Honcho, back at you again with another video. So guys, if you see my video the other day where we took a look at this incident, <laughs> then you'll know that I mentioned even 48 hours after the video had went viral on Twitter, the police still hadn't come out with a statement in regards to this issue, but that was until yesterday, where there's now been an update. So it's now being reported that the incident happened at 4.30pm last Friday, that being the 21st of August 2020, and just like we said, it did in fact take place on Taverners Road in Peterborough. It was said that a man in his 30s had suffered minor injuries as a result of the incident, I'm assuming that was the guy who got run over, and police did go on to arrest a man later on in the evening, and he was a 25 year old from London, I'm assuming the guy who ran him over. He was arrested on suspicion of causing injury by dangerous driving, possessing an offensive weapon in a public place, namely a metal baseball bat, and was hit with drug driving. On the Saturday, that being the 22nd of August 2020, a 19-year-old woman from Peterborough was arrested on suspicion of dangerous driving and theft, I'm assuming that was the woman in the video. It was said that both the man and the woman were released on bail, and ought to return to Thorpewood Police Station on the 16th of September 2020. So in my last video, I seen a lot of people comment on why the man who had got run over kicked the woman's car, and going off the report, maybe she was actually with the other driver. Again, there's no context to the clip, but if she's done on theft charges in relation to this incident and you put two and two together, maybe it had something to do with theft. That guy's confronted the situation and then the man started ramming him with his car. Again, this isn't what happened, it's just a theory, but it does look like for sure that these two were in fact together and that's all we know at this current time. But moving on to our next story and it seems as if once again, someone has used their car as a weapon after this video went viral on Facebook over the past couple of days. Wow. Mate! Mate! Fucking hell. So unlike the first story, the police in this incident have came out instantly with a report to say that they have gone on to arrest a man on suspicion of attempted murder after another man was hit by a car after a verbal altercation on Wyvern Way in Burgess Hill at around 12.15pm on Monday the 24th of August. After the incident had taken place, the victim, a man aged in his 40s, had suffered multiple serious injuries and was taken to hospital for treatment. Soon after, the driver was located by police and he was arrested where it's still believed he's currently in police custody. Investigating officer Detective Inspector Colin Garman said the victim had sustained multiple injuries and has been left understandably shaken by the incident. Now I'm not going to lie, I don't know what they're putting in the water in these places because this isn't the first time and I'm sure it isn't the last time we're going to see people using cars to, I assume, try and kill people and if not kill people, seriously injure them. Again, this clips out of context so I can't really comment on what's happened here but what I do want to say is if this was over a trivial argument over nothing, for you now to be arrested on attempted murder charges 
ages is a bit stupid, I can't lie. We live in a society now where people do before they think and it's literally putting people in jail or worse, ending up dead. Can you imagine if you're there enjoying your day, you know, you might end up in an argument with someone over something so silly and instead of being calm, you decide to run over the guy and nearly kill him and then your freedom's taken away and you've wasted the next 10 plus years of your life all because a hot-headed moment that lasted 10 seconds. Trust me, 10 seconds of your life isn't worth the next 10 years of it. But if I do get context to any of the two videos, of course, I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop on these ones. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy 8 Pancho, and I'm out.